Artificial intelligence will be as smart as humans. Early adopters are racing to harness its power. AI has been called medicine's biggest moment since antibiotics. AI, I've, I've heard of it. <laughs> it's literally part of every conversation now. AI is really fascinating. AI is large, AI is small. How will we harness the power of artificial intelligence to not only make our lives easier, but also more productive and safe? The explosion of edge computing and AI are gonna go hand in hand. I think the challenge for semiconductor companies is to be able to keep up with that pace of change. Our ethos is to create the most power efficient programmable solutions in the market. This is AI at the Edge, powered by Microchip. At Microchip, I've probably got one of the coolest jobs, and I make no bones about it. If the product has wheels or treads or it lives on dirt, then I'm probably pretty interested in it. I lead the market segment focused on agriculture, construction, and mining equipment. It's a super fast technology movement. The massive pieces of equipment that get pulled or pushed or operated by that tractor or earth mover requires an edge approach to AI with max processing capabilities in a disconnected or limited connectivity state. Machine learning can adjust the performance of the system. It's not just about the AI and the edge computing, but it's also the infrastructure and the hardware that goes along with that, which is where microcontroller solutions are going to be essential. As far as medical, we've got our basic compute engines for AI. It's kind of a, a layered model. From there you build up and you look at signal processing from the sensor. If it's a patient monitoring type of thing, you've got connectivity, you've got security. Build on that when you look at support for like real-time operating systems and Linux. From there you start building up with other support and our AI tools, MPLAB ML for our uh, Polar Fire FPGAs, the vector blocks. These are the tools that go along with this whole model. VectorBlocks allows you to take those models and those networks and convert it into an RTL, the language that the FPGA uses. It allows them to do simulation and make sure that the model is actually operating in the way that it's supposed to be operating before you invest in hardware. There's different stages of AI, and one of those is called quantization, and the other one is called pruning. Post-pruning, you're left with a bunch of zero or null values that are part of your model. We acquired a piece of technology called Neuronics. The IP creates sparsity, so it removes those null values and it shrinks the model itself. That means that your performance stays the same and your power efficiency can go up. Microchip does a really great job of developing an ecosystem that can support a wide range of clients and developer needs. Are we the largest GPU manufacturer today? No, but we're partnered with them. This field demands a lot of collaboration. You need hardware, you need software, you need a lot of support, and you need a general excitement or enthusiasm towards the impact that AI can have on the edge. When you set up AI, you have learning models. You're gonna learn something specific about that patient. My cardiac waveform, it's different than anybody else's. Same thing with prosthetic limbs. Every person moves a little different, they'll interface with the limb a little bit differently, and for the AI to learn that individual's different qualities, you get a better diagnosis, you get more data for the doctor to make that diagnosis and prescribe treatment or therapy. When we go to our clients, they're not looking at what's on the market. They want to have a relationship with a tech company like Microchip that is listening to them and developing stuff around what they need in five years and 10 years to continue to grow their market share and grow their business. Trying to keep up with what they're dreaming. Software engineers outnumber hardware engineers 100 to 1. How can Microchip create products that a computer scientist can then take their models that they're building and have them operate efficiently, cost-effectively, securely, reliably on a end product?